Okay, good evening everyone, and welcome to the regular meeting of the Swanton Village Board of Trustees for Monday, September 14th, 2020. Uh, first on our agenda, I'd like to have you all rise and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Uncle. Um, our agenda review, uh, we've reviewed it. Is there any changes, additions? No, sir. Anybody wants? No. So we yeah. have just the one executive session for real estate. That, am I correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, public comment. Uh, Heather, would you like to say something? No. <laughs> no public comment. Uh, approve and accept the minutes from our Monday, August 24th, 2020 meeting. Uh, we have a copy of those in our packets. What's your pleasure? I'll move that they be approved as written. Second. Second. Take, take it, take it. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded to approve and accept the minutes from Monday, August 24th. Uh, any discussion, corrections for that? If not, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion is carried unanimously. Item number six, approve and accept the village warrants through Friday, September 11th, 2020. I make a motion they be approved. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve and accept the village warrants through September 11th. Uh, any questions on the warrants? Yes. The number 77? 77. Uh huh. I think it's check number 81710. That seems like a significant amount. What did we do? Paid. Yeah, we paid it. <laughs> Eight one seven. Paid. 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 Streets. Hungerford Construction. Hungerford Streets. We did the oh, street paving. Yeah. Street paving. Yeah. Thank yes. you. How about um, check eighty one seven zero six, Chevalier Stoneworks. That was the uh, wastewater plant. Oh. The uh, chimney fell off. And then some of the brickwork above the doorway was coming down. So he replaced our chimney and uh, did that work. Sounds good. I'm okay. wondering if we did something in the He actually did submit a bid, and uh, the uh, veterans are moving forward with that. Perfect. You're the same guy? For the doorway, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, any other questions? If not, I know in favor of the motion to approve and accept the village warrants. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> that motion is carried as well. Um, item number seven, sign the Vermont State Revolving Fund for $172,900 for a 20-year evaluation of wastewater treatment <coughs> facility. Diane has a lot of the background on it, but uh, so basically it's an authorization for me to sign and you folks to sign. But uh, yeah, go ahead and read the. So it, this project includes the 20 year evaluation of the wastewater facility and development of the phosphorus reduction plan as required by the discharge permit. This project was amended to cover cost of conducting mapping of the collection system and is now being amended to cover the cost of pilot testing, treatment, as part of that plant evaluation. So remember, uh, we had talked about uh, Aldrich and Elliot are doing those uh, those prototypes to see to remove the phosphorus from our effluent. So he was able to negotiate down three week rather than four week, and uh, for another twenty five thousand, we get the third unit in, and that was kind of one we really wanted to get in here and take a look at. St. Albans has one uh, that similar unit that's running now. 
So we're going to head up there hopefully next week with the guys and take a look at it, see what they think. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to bring Scott up there because he'd be the maintenance, having to do the work on it. But uh, so the extra twenty-five thousand for that is to bring in that third vendor, and they're okay. going to be here. I believe. <clears throat> I believe it's uh, October seventeenth. October seventeenth, I believe they're coming in, and they're going to do a three-week evaluation. Is the hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars just for the evaluation? No, it's also to map our our uh, our uh, wastewater start manholes for our wastewater. <coughs> we haven't already done that. We don't no. know what they we did the GPS them right. Yeah, we did okay. that with our water curb stops. Remember a couple yep. of years back. So part of the twenty-year evaluation is that understanding what your assets are where they're located, then to map them and uh, timestamp them, what their ages are, so then you can go forward and have a, have a plan, a uh, capital plan for replacing you know, any of the uh, uh, sewer lines. Mm -hmm. How do we pay back this 172000 um, It'll go in the rates, but she has it all figured out, and that's the rates that you guys approved over 20 years. 20 years. Okay. Is so. the document going to be ready to sign time? Yeah. Okay, so we need a motion to authorize you to sign uh, it? Or authorize me to sign the areas yes. or? Yep, so uh, name Reggie as authorized signer, and then there's places for the book board to sign as well. Okay. I'll make the motion that we authorize village manager to sign the Vermont State Revolving Fund for 172900 There's anything else that needs to go along with it. <laughs> I'll second that. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded to authorize Reg Bellow to sign for the Vermont State Revolving Fund for $172,900 for our 20 year evaluation of wastewater treatment facility. Any more discussion? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion's carried. <coughs> Keep that going. So. Item number eight, approve and sign the 2020 December Transco <coughs> Equity Offer Purchase. That's come up a couple times before, right? Yeah, we brought it up last meeting. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, that's that Transco money that we get on investment on that and uh, we suggest this year rather than having BEPSA uh, uh, be the assigned equity members that we purchase it outright. Okay. Yeah, we, we discussed this last meeting. Yeah, and, and, I, and I know what it is. Yeah. Uh, is there a provision in our uh, the document that we signed for us to purchase others if they elect not to buy? Here's an example. You know, let's say Barton doesn't buy their share. Will we be allowed to, or will it be shared through other reps of members? I'm trying to think of what was done in the past. I think it was. We had our, our shot at it, and we've done it before. Yeah. So it'll say anything with this to do. paperwork about that. But I think when a member fit, member doesn't purchase, don't they come back to the other members yeah. and offer it at that time? That's fine. Yeah. yeah. In that case, I'll make the motion to approve this uh, this uh, item. And I'll second. Certain. So and it's the equity purchase is for one eighty two one twenty, so one hundred eighty two thousand one hundred twenty dollars. How do they determine all these all these numbers are different for each one of the eleven? It's your uh, uh, generation your loads that kind of stuff. Okay, it's based on some kind of usage yeah. number. Yeah. Okay. I just based wondering, on, we're the third highest. Yeah. Have, it's based on the size of the company, if you wish. Yeah. And we were surprised that Ludlow is bigger than we are. I think it's a ski area. Oh, I guess it's a ski, ski area. area. Yeah. Yep, oh. big users. Okay. Okay, the motion has been made. Do uh, you, you second it, Adam? Yes. Uh, I am seconded to uh, 
approve and sign the 2020 December Transco equity offer slash purchase. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion is carried. And if the others don't sell, they will come back to us. Gene, okay. I think so. But you know, yeah, you're right. Definitely. Uh, we've done that in the past. I think. Well, absolutely. And Diane is right too, because uh, they do come back if somebody backs out. I remember Stone or Burlington Electric didn't take it. Yeah. And they yeah. offered it. Yeah. So, okay. We get good income off that every year. So item, up to, moving right along, item number nine, Andre Bluen uh, requests to connect to village water system at one Madison Drive. So this is a development off the middle road. It's on our, the village's water line. Dean met with the individual who's building a single family, three bedroom home and wants village water. He's aware of the $1,500 connection fee and aware that he needs to purchase a water meter, but is, Dean's fine with it. Is that on that small water line? It's on or the village's water line. It's not a new water, water line, though. Right. Is, that, is that where they're getting bad coverage, I mean, supply <clears throat> down there, because there's only no. a two inch? I don't think so. I that's think it's beyond. On this side. I think that's down further <clears throat> on the private line. OK. This is on our line. OK. And we've got capacity and yeah. for it. Trying to get the exact location where it, where it is. I know we put a new line down there a few years back. I partway. think it's right after the trailer park, isn't it? Like around. Yeah. So like within or that we, first half mile. We put one for. We put one in for the uh, no snow. The no, I know where it is. You know where Conway Lawyer is. Yeah. It's right there. Okay. It's right there. It's right. That's what Dean told me for a reference marker. Okay. Yeah, that's our water line. Okay. Should we go into water, Commissioner? We should. Oh, okay. yeah, we should have. I'll make the motion we go into water, Commissioners. I'll second that. Motion's been made and seconded to go into <coughs> water, Commissioners' meeting to discuss and approve or reject this. Request. All those in favor of the motion to go in and to uh, water commissioners meeting, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay, we're in the, we're in the water commissioners meeting. Um, so I guess we've already discussed it. Do you want to make a motion to approve, or or is there any more discussion on it? So where it's before the vessel base. It's okay, and it's on the right. It is As you're going down Middle Road? The left. It's on the left? It's across from Conway Lawyers. So you it's know. just after Covey Drive. It it's is. a little ways after. Yeah, a little ways after. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. After I know, I know where it is, yeah. Yeah, Green Acres. Yep. Yeah, just a little ways past that. Okay. And is that all fresh line? There's Dean yes. had no issue? Yeah, he had he no issue. He didn't have issue. an issue with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bigelow Drive is down there on that yep. side of the road. I know where that is. Okay. All right. I'll make the motion we approve the request from Andre Bluen to connect to Village Water Sewer at 1 Madison Drive. Or just water. Second. Or water, I'm sorry. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded to uh, approve the request of Andre Bluen to connect to the Village Water System at 1 Madison Drive. Any more discussion on that subject? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motions carried. So, motion to come out of water, Commissioner. <laughs> I'll second. <laughs> okay, motion been made and seconded to come out of water, Commissioner's meeting, back to our regular meeting. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, okay, we're back to our regular it's meeting. part of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, item number 10 is any other necessary business? Chris. I just have a question. The state has this new composting law, and um, in the leach household, we're putting more stuff down the, the garbage disposal, which I 
guess is totally okay, except if this is happening a lot, is it having any kind of effect at all on our sewage treatment plan? Oh, I think we, I think we better perhaps watch it, but I don't think the load's gonna be all that heavy. We'll see. We haven't, I mean, guys haven't significantly seen any difference. Well, the, I asked the garbage man, and he's not doing anything special about taking the compost, so I have no idea what people are doing, but. I think it's more the honor system because a few of the local trash haulers said they were not. Doing no, I know they're not. Yeah, they I have know. no way of monitoring or supplying. Yeah. But it's amazing how many people you see with po compost. They're a lot of doing it, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, oh, two yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I've got two of them out there. Yeah. Well, my neighbor's got one that covers four houses, so. Yeah. so. Okay, so you know. yeah, I, got, I wasn't worried about that aspect of it. I was just wondering if there was a little about the load on our, on our pieces. And I haven't heard anything on my drive out mailbox. Has anybody heard anything? Have mm -hmm. you sent a letter? Yeah. You sent a letter, right? Do you know the guy? Who is the postmaster? I don't know. Because I've been in the post office multiple times and asked to speak to whomever it is. Not here. <laughs> Not here. Well, they're probably working remotely. <laughs> it could be that they're working. I, told me, I mean, I, I just wondered. But I saw it today some poor old lady trying to get out of her car and hobble over to the mailbox. I'm thinking, man, can we use the drive up mailbox? I remember the last meeting, I, I mentioned something about the appearance of their lawn. And the next day, somebody <laughs> mowed it. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. <laughs> but, it, but it wasn't because of something I said. So I'm glad yeah, they did. One thing I was asking Rick, we had a plan to do something with this building. Is that kind of on hold now? Well, yeah, because of the COVID, yeah. obviously that went on hold. Um, we have been in discussion because of the, well, so because of the police department's issue of not being able to socially distance because of the small space, we're, uh, we're gonna open up the boardroom for an officer's spot. They're gonna put in desks in there and uh, filing cabinets, so that'll be their space. Uh, we will, uh, there's monies out there that the government gave for having to redesign to be COVID compliant. So we've ordered a petition to come in here, an eight foot by 24 foot petition, that you just you fold it up, open it up, and once COVID subsides and you wanna have a smaller meeting space so it's not so huge like this, mm -hmm. uh, we can do that. You know, in the event that possibly we had two meetings going on at once, mm -hmm. you could divide the room up. But, uh, so long story, or long answer to a short uh, question, but, uh, we had a discussion today about possibly looking at the, the plant again and maybe trying to break it down into segments rather than fighting the whole piece of the pie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, have, sure. we have a plan, I believe it's sent it to all the folks too, right? Final plan. <coughs> Sounds good. That's all I have. Okay. Anybody else? I uh, just wanted to let folks know that we had a great turnout for our the picnic in the park back on Friday the 4th. Had about 50 people. It's awesome. Um, some kids dancing and all this fun stuff, but it was great to be out. And it's unfortunate that it had to be at the end of the season and not the beginning of the season. So uh, hopefully more good stuff to come next year. Okay. We got that. That uh, locals concern meeting for the downtown scoping study coming up uh, September 17th, which is this Thursday at 6 p.m. So it's on our Facebook. It will be put on our web page. Uh, sent it to the chamber. Uh, Debbie Winters has it to put it. Send it to the set. Uh, but there's a Zoom link on that uh, file, and there's also a phone number to call in. It's here. Well, uh, it's virtual. Oh, virtual. Yeah. yeah. I gotta call Jen again, because I had originally said I was gonna be out of town, and uh, so I have to make sure that you know, somebody can handle it if I'm not here. I think, I have to find out anyway how the format's gonna work. I'm assuming that, uh, speaking with her, that they were 
assume that somebody was going to be here, have the Skype up, and maybe get a hold of Channel 15 and have them put the camera on the Skype video. Will but Elizabeth be back? No. No. No, no. so you should show up here. <coughs> Probably. No, uh, the time yours is truly six. volunteered to six. chair the meeting, but I thought it was going to be here. I didn't know it was going to be virtual. And I'm no, we need to be here. Huh? Yes, Chris needs to be here too because he volunteered to be on that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's here, but it'll be virtual. I didn't know who was going to run the, the virtual end of it. I was going to run the meeting, so I, it might be a little schedule. Reggie gets this straightened out with Jen. Uh, we could do a practice run on just how we connect. Yeah. Right. I'll talk to you later. So, about it. but there'll be something here for sure. Uh, yeah, and but uh, I don't know if this is going to get to the viewers before Thursday, but it'd be nice to have people call in and give us uh, their input on the traffic downtown. Heather's up on that, I know, but it'd uh, uh, be interesting to see what they come up with and what the public has interest in. So we're going to try to make it work. It might be a little bumpy at first, but we'll... Uh, We'll make it work. My only comment is I do not need a regurgitation of what our problems are. I need possible solutions. Oh, well, that's what we're going to find out Thursday night. Yeah, so that's I'm why you're there? I'm going to be all over them like a stick on a dog. <laughs> if, it's, if it's just regurgitating what our problems are. Well, it's a public concern, so the public are going to bring up what they see yeah. as concerns. Yeah. So. And that's at 6, right? 6 o'clock. Okay. Good. So we'll figure out how to, so again, to it's better if people zoom in rather than crowd the room because we really don't want to crowd the room yeah. because of the COVID guidelines. I mean, we could, we could fit probably 20 people in here. Max is 28, 30 yeah. and stretching it. So, I mean, it's better if people zoom in. We have, we get the board here. I, I can make sure that uh, we can get you guys set up for Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Is that six o'clock? Six yeah. o'clock, yeah. We'll make it work. So um anything else? Um there was another um another uh, concern came up about chickens and roosters and noise again. Mm -hmm. Remember we started discussing it and uh, uh just never I guess thought about an ordinance, but uh it's come up again, so we should probably think about it and what that should look like again. Okay. Um, can we have it on for discussion at our next meeting? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'd like to mention how good things look downtown. We have a new business, Bees on Broadway. She has her storefront all done now, the, the uh, canopy over the front. And it, the Ace Hardware store has just put the final coat of pavement on and they have some Halloween decorations out front. And it seems refreshing to see something fresh in downtown. And uh, hopefully this meeting on, on Thursday will add some fuel to the fire downtown. So, but uh, uh, anyways, I just wanted to mention that and uh, we're still looking, looking to fill up the, the theater building, but there's no, no. Well, of course, we're in a bad time with the COVID-19, so bad time to be starting or running a business. But, uh, you know, so. Well, so we have that other that uh, what Debbie and uh, Betsy were working on, along with the SEP, uh, getting gift cards out for local businesses, yes. thirty-dollar gift cards. Yeah. So I don't that know. was uh, through Rise Vermont. Rise uh, Vermont that, was involved. That's through the state of Vermont uh, restart businesses. Yeah. So I don't know where we are with that. To be honest with you, I we'll just probably want to find out that. some of that on Thursday night too. So. <laughs> but uh, okay. Sure. If nobody has anything else. I'll entertain a motion to go into the executive session to discuss real estate. You got it. I'll Second. Make it. Motion has been made and seconded to go into the executive session to discuss real estate. 
All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, the motion is carried. We're in executive session. Session, back into our regular meeting. Uh, we just had a discussion about a real estate issue, but no action was taken. Uh, so is there any other business to come before this board tonight? No, sir. If not, I'll entertain the motion. So moved. Motion has been made and seconded, seconded. to adjourn seconded. this meeting of the Swan Village Board of Trustees for September 14, 2020. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. The motion is carried. Thank you very much and have a good evening.